Don't laugh at me, robot. I'll punch you right in the tin can. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is July 14th. This is the day where NASA's New Horizons satellite spacecraft mission to Pluto made its closest approach to the dwarf planet planetoid planet. Now, there was a bunch of celebrating and super happiness. And we even got a new photo, which is great. But the real excitement has begun, as you see by the countdown, in exactly 1 hour and 49 minutes and 27 seconds. The scientists on Earth will be receiving word back from the spacecraft on whether it is okay in good shape and took a lot of science during the close flyby. And if you have been following NASA for a while, you know things don't always go as planned. So this is the big moment. Let's hope we don't have a filet lander flame out crap the bed moment. You know what I'm saying? Then hearts will be broken across the world like the broken heart on Pluto. Well, I don't know if it, it's broken heart on Pluto. Maybe, maybe it's just a smoker and it's got early stages of lung cancer. So stay tuned. At about 7.50 Texas time, or 8.50 New York time, or 5.50 California time, we will get the official word back on whether or not spacecraft is okay and got all that super great a million megapixel data where they, they could look at tea leaves on Pluto if it had tea leaves. But it does have snow, so one day we could ski Pluto. Which is cool. But I will give you a full breakdown and report on the entire thing in the very near future. So stay tuned. Because this is suspenseful. I love you like a love song, baby. Hey, I love you like a love song, baby. So that's it. That's that. And I'll have another video out discussing many of the things we've learned in this Blue Pill series. God bless everybody. Stay cool, man. Stay cool. Wait, breaking. Breaking news. Someone just farted on the International Space Station and was the first ever to tweet about a fart from space. Alright, now back to the real story.